I'm making this video because I've searched YouTube over and over again for years and I never found a simple explanation for scales. Basically, they're a lot simpler than you think they are if you're just starting to play. Me, I'm not very good. It took me 20 years to figure out to get where I am. 25, I don't know. But it took me a long time to figure this little secret out that most scales are the same. Most of the scales that you want as a beginner are pretty much the same. You, will, I'll show you six scales that are exactly the same. And nobody's going to tell you that. They're going to tell you you have to take the fifth and slide it up or back and take the third and slide it somewhere else. And it's just, it's too complicated for a beginner that doesn't know music theory to understand. So first, what I did is I made this handy little tool. It's a piece of paper with a little square cut out of it, right? You just flip it back. And uh, let's get okay, to work. So first I wanna show you the best book I ever got is this one. Gig Bag Book of Scales. What makes it better than all of the other books that are out there that have scales in it? Nothing. Nothing at all makes it better than all the other ones. But what I do is I look at these little guys down here. They're patterns. And all those dots, they seem so confusing. But what I'm going to do here, show you a look. D. So we're starting with D natural minor. Aeolian scale, okay? Yeah, you could look at all this stuff and you can figure out how to play it. But I just look at the patterns, okay? Looks confusing. But you got to just focus on one little area, right? There's a D. Right there, fifth fret. Those are the root notes. Okay, that's one pattern in it. There's another pattern. You can start there because your root note starts on the E string. You can do that pattern. Okay. Then. <laughs> So that's natural minor, Aeolian, right? Then you go to Dorian. I've scratched all over this piece of paper. I put the uh, I put the chord tones, circled those. It helps to build tension and stuff. You'll you know you can learn that on your own. I'm not going there. So there it is again, D. Except it starts on the twelfth fret, D. There's those notes right there. <laughs> Dorian, you go to Phrygian scale. Oh, is it going to be in there too? Yes, of course it is. Is there. Right? So it's in those three scales. And they're all minor. Major. We'll try major. D. Major. I wrote B minor because I, you know, I was trying to learn. It's like the same as B minor. So you go. D. Oh, look, it's there. Major. It's still there. It's all the same. Look at it. It's all the same. <laughs> Major scale, D, Lydian. D, Lydian. Okay. Now, where is it here? Oh, it's right there again. Just the root notes are in a different spot. Okay. Look, 
Mix a lady in. And where is it? It's right there in another spot. That pattern, root notes being different, starts in the seventh fret. Over here, it starts. What the hell is it? Starts on the ninth fret. Root note in a different spot. But these patterns are all over the place. <laughs> scale to learn six scales go go on the internet go buy yourself a book of scales look at them all analyze them all practice them all but just basically know that they're all the same root notes chord tones they change positions but it's all the same it just shifts let's go i'm not a teacher so i'm not going to show you everything have fun